All right, one question we often answer is what sort of wood is best to burn, hardwoods or softwoods? Now the answer to that question is it depends. Now each type of wood has its own disadvantages and advantages. Uh, in some areas of the country, the choice is limited by what sort of trees grow in your area. If you live in an area where you have access to both soft and hardwoods, you're in a great situation. When we think about softwoods, we generally think about conifers such as pines and other trees with needles. But trees such as oaks, hickories, ash, or the fruit woods fall into the hardwood category. One thing to keep in mind is wood has the same amount of BTUs, or basically heat available, per pound regardless of what sort of wood it is. Softwoods are lighter at a given volume than hardwoods uh, due to being less dense. This lesser density gives softwoods some really nice features. Uh, softwoods are easier to cut and split. They also dry faster. Now the lighter density also makes for easier ignition. The hardwoods are denser than the softwoods, so they provide their own set of advantages. Chief among those is the greater heat output for a given volume of wood. Managing your wood supply will greatly affect your satisfaction with your wood burning appliance. Always split your wood to speed the drying process. Wooden around does not dry nearly as well or as quickly as split wood. Moisture meters are inexpensive and every wood burner should have one on hand. To get a proper moisture reading, it's best to check the middle of a freshly split piece of wood. You want to burn wood that's somewhere between 15 and 25% moisture content to get the best performance from your appliance. Now wood ideally should be stored under cover, but the structure should have open sides to allow airflow to allow the wood to dry. Uh, two good places to cover detailed information on burning wood and proper wood storage are the Chimney Safety Institute of America's website, csi.org, under the Homeowner Resources tab, or the EPA's BurnWise website has good information on building a wood storage structure at epa.gov burnwise.